why we spend time thinking. We think about thinking. We think about small things, we think about big things. We think about great things, we think about minor things. From the mundane to the important, God wants us to use our thinking capacity. God wants us to think like champions. Your life cannot make progress if you do not do qualitative thinking. Thinking is visualizing a thing or imagining it. Getting stronger each day, living life with winning ways. Hope for the hurting, peace for the pain. Fulfilling my purpose, I'll never be the same. Raising champions each day, winning ways. Pressing on, cause I've got to break free. Turn defeat into victory. From darkness to light, the anthem was right. And I'm striving to grow every day. Live my life in the ultimate way. Reaching higher each day. Learn to walk in the way. Raising champions each day. Going in the way. It's just awesome. Absolutely awesome. Everything is just on the mark. It's actually pretty special to me. Absolutely amazing. It's phenomenal. KICC, Prayer City. Experience Prayer City for yourself. Join the 11 a.m. Sunday service for glory, healing, deliverance, breakthrough, and testimonies. It's amazing. This is my first time here. I'm going to make many, many visits. Fair City is absolutely amazing. There's so much energy. I think it's a hub for all of us. It's, you know, it's the fellowship. It's the fun. It's the people. It's a wonderful place to be to worship. It's fantastic. It's a massive, massive building. This is where God is. The Spirit of God is here. This is Prayer City, where prayer works. KICC, Raising Champions, Taking Territory.
awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Everything is just on the mark. It's actually pretty special to me. Absolutely amazing. It's phenomenal. KICC, Prayer City. Experience Prayer City for yourself. Join the 11 a.m. Sunday service for glory, healing, deliverance, breakthrough, and testimonies. I love it. It's amazing. This is my first time here. I'm going to make many, many visits. Prayer City is absolutely amazing. There's so much energy. I think it's a hub for all of us. It's, you know, it's the fellowship. It's the fun. It's the people. It's a wonderful place to be to worship. It's fantastic. It's a massive, massive building. This is where God is. The Spirit of God is here. This is Prayer City, where prayer works. KICC, raising champions, taking territories. If you're joining us for the first time, we have been on a series called The Revolution. The Revolution. And within the remit of the revolution, we're looking at making progress in life. Making progress in life. And today's message in this series of making progress in life is think like a champion. Think like a champion. I like you to have me tell your neighbor, think like a champion. You've got to think like a champion. Amen. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, Whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Also, we add to that Proverbs 23, verse 7. For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, he says to you, but his heart is not with you. Our focus is what he thinks in his heart. So is he. Think like a champion. I'd like you to say to your neighbor again, think like a champion. Every day of our life, we spend time thinking. We think about thinking. We think about small things. We think about big things. We think about great things. We think about minor things. From the mundane to the important. God wants us to use our thinking capacity. God wants us to think like champions. Your life cannot make progress. If you do not do qualitative thinking, thinking is visualizing a thing or imagining it. It is calling to mind certain things or remembering them. It is that capacity to concentrate on particular matters. Thinking is anticipation. Thinking makes you to assume, to comprehend, and to conceive. Thinking is the pointer. To draw you to a conclusion. But today our thought and our subject is about thinking in a way that makes a champion out of us. So that our lives makes progress. When you are thinking, you are determining or estimating what you should do or achieve. You cannot think without envisioning. You see pictures in your mind. You see where you want to go where you want to be, what you want to achieve, what impact you want to make. Thinking makes you to visualize. It makes you to, it is coming to a sense of regarding a matter or reckoning what the matter should be. So, I know that many times in Christianity we focus on major subjects like the resurrection, uh, finance, and so on and so forth. But these are the elements that make a person a success or a failure. His capacity to think. We need to make great of the blood. But it's important for us to work on our capacity to think. Thinking is part of the human life that gives us that ability to discern and therefore conclude. That's why many times in the Old Testament, the Bible will talk about meditating. Blessed is the man who does not stand or sit or walk with the ungodly. But his delight is in the word and in it he meditates day and night. The Hebrew word which is rendered meditate is also thinking, meditation. In fact, the same word is used for chewing. As in the case of uh, a ram or a lamb 
that calls back what it has swallowed and chews and chews again. If you want to be a champion in life, you've got to learn how to think like a champion. How to imagine things like a champion. Which is a type, and, and meditation is a type and a shadow of learning to succeed. When you chew the cord, you are learning to remember the word, to think about it. This morning, thinking is not just important. It is important in order for you to become a champion. Even the things we call a slip of tongue, a Freudian slip. You know, Sigmund Freud said, when people make a slip and they say something and they say, oh, I didn't mean to say that. It was always in their mind. They've been thinking about it. So it's not just a slip. So thinking is that capacity to be able to have things inside us. And if you are going to become a champion, I'd like to share with you this morning some truths. You're going to be able to ask yourself, what is my purpose? What is the value of what I'm doing? What am I here to do? What's happening around me? And so before we end today's service, we want to see six ways to think like a champion. It's just awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Everything is just on the mark. It's actually pretty special to me. Absolutely amazing. It's phenomenal. KICC, Prayer City. Experience Prayer City for yourself. Join the 11 a.m. Sunday service for glory, healing, deliverance, breakthrough, and testimonies. It's amazing. This is my first time here. I'm going to make many, many visits. Prayer City is absolutely amazing. There's so much energy. I think it's a hub for all of us. It's, you know, it's a fellowship. It's the fun. It's the people. It's a wonderful place to be to worship. It's fantastic. It's a massive, massive building. This is where God is. The Spirit of God is here. This is Prayer City, where prayer works. KICC, Raising Champions, Taking Territory. Number one, progressive thinking. Progressive thinking. It is impossible to make progress in life with a weak mind. It is impossible. That's why the Bible tells us about Christ. Paul said in Philippians chapter 2 verse 5, Let these mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Amen. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. Weak minds are microscopic. They see tiny things and magnify it but cannot perceive great things. If you take a microscope and focus on this book, it will take a small spot and turn that small spot to something big. It will blow it up. That is what the microscope does. It takes tiny things and make them big. That's how many people's mind is. They make big out of tiny, out of small. They make an issue out of non-issue. They build a castle around things that are not even up to a brick. Weak minds are like that. And you cannot make progress in life. You cannot be a success with your life if you think that way. To have a progressive mind, you have, you've got to develop new capacity. You've got to see new things. Lamentation chapter 3 verse 22 verse 20 and 23 talks about new every morning. Progressive thinking is what moves you in the direction of what will make you a success. And to do that, you've got to learn, unlearn, relearn, learn. Unlearn, relearn. It's, a three, it's the three dimensions to change. You learn new truths. You unlearn what you used to know. You now relearn what will help you make progress. And too many people who are not making progress in life and they are blaming someone somewhere. If they don't blame another man's face, they blow him race or somebody else's grace. Race, face, grace or their place. Those are the four things we often blame. We use race. If that don't work, we say they hate my face. If it does not work, we say I don't have enough grace like they have. 
And if it doesn't work, we say, well, I know my place. They know their place. But you see, when you give excuse, your life cannot make progress. And progressive thinking is a necessity for succeeding. And progressive thinking results in your promotion. It results in turnaround and transformation. And I'm praying for someone this morning that your life will truly make progress. You will hit the mark. You will achieve your dream. You will fulfill your purpose. Reach your destiny. Oh, come on, say better. Amen. Amen. The second way to think like a champion is constructive thinking. Constructive thinking. In a way that will take you forward to be a champion in life, you've got to think constructively. Your thought is what you become. For as a man thinks, so is he. If you cannot change your thought, you cannot change your life. If you can't change your thinking, you can't change your life. That's, that's, the, that's the laboratory of our lives. That's where our life is put together. That's where we are either made or unmade. When you have a constructive mind, you see more than what is happening. You develop an ability to perceive the future. Then the Lord gives you the brick with which to build that future. Praise God. In the book of Exodus chapter 35 from verse 30 to 35, the Bible tells us that there was a man whom God had chosen to build the things in the tabernacle. And in the night season, God will appear to this man and begin to teach his mind how to put those things together, how to construct those things in his sleep. Praise God. Oh, I pray that such anointing will rest on you. I said, I pray that such grace will rest on you. And that you will be a testimony. And that the grace of God will increase for you. Favor will rest on your life. And your life will be distinguished. Somebody say better amen. amen. So progressive thinking. Is a necessity. It was the kind of mind that God gave this mind. This kind of mind makes you to recognize. The principles of God's word. That are necessary for a changed life. When God gives you a constructive mind, everything is achieved in secret. No drums beaten, no music played, but a miracle is in the making. I believe somebody is like that here today. There is a miracle in the making. I said there is a miracle in the making. God is putting something together concerning your life and very soon there will be a manifestation. Your life will be a testimony and a manifestation in the name of Jesus. The third way to think like a champion is inventive thinking. Inventive thinking. Tell someone to think like a champion. There are too many people in life who are in a journey of, when I get there, I will know. I will follow. I will find out and then I'll be satisfied. Inventive thinking does not wait for things to happen. It goes out and makes it happen. Nothing in life happens by itself. Somebody had to take a decision. So you've got to understand that if you really must become whom God wants you to be, achieve the things he wants you to achieve, reach the destiny he carved out for you, you've got to think differently. Praise God. You've got to think differently. You've got to think differently. Inventive thinking is what makes you to ask the question, what can we not do? Why can we not do it? The disciples of Jesus went to him one time. They brought a boy who had epilepsy and they could not cast out the spirit. And they then now turned to Jesus and said, why could we not do it? Why could we not do it? We've got to ask that question. Why, could we, why can we not do it? What, when you develop this mind of a champion, you do not live your life based on rumors. You don't hold on to things because it is written somewhere by somebody. You do not do things because an elder said so or tradition has it. No, you make up your mind to invent, to achieve, and to break through. Until you question the regulars of life, nothing ever changes. 
late President John Kennedy told America, one day we'll put man on the moon. And although he never lived to see it, it happened just a year after his death or thereabout. In other words, he perceived that one day it is possible. And never let age tell you you can't achieve a thing or that you cannot reach a place. You've got to make your mind. If God has it as a vision for my life, I will achieve it one day. I will get there. I will be whom God said I will be. Is someone hear me? Fourth way to think is creative thinking. Thinking outside the box. Being creative. Deciding in life that you don't want to be one more regular person. God is a creative God. The Bible starts with the language of creativity. Genesis 1.1, Bereshith Barach Elohim in the Hebrew. Bereshith Barach Elohim. In other words, in the beginning, Elohim, out of nothing, created, out of nothing. Praise God. Out of nothing, Elohim created. Somebody say, out of nothing. In other words, God is a creative God. He looks at the expanse of the universe. And it's very difficult to even perceive the enormity, the gravity, the, mag the magnitude of the universe. It is so big, it is so difficult. There is no telescope to measure its end. It's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Everything is just on the mark. It's actually pretty special to me. Absolutely amazing. It's phenomenal. KICC, Prayer City. Experience Prayer City for yourself. Join the 11 a.m. Sunday service for glory, healing, deliverance, breakthrough, and testimonies. Amazing. This is my first time here. I'm going to make many, many visits. Fair City is absolutely amazing. There's so much energy. I think it's a hub for all of us. It's, you know, it's the fellowship. It's the fun. It's the people. It's a wonderful place to be to worship. It's fantastic. It's a massive, massive building. This is where God is. The Spirit of God is here. This is Prayer City, where prayer works. KICC, raising champions, taking territory. Next time on The Journey. God is a creative God and he wants us to be like him. The stage upon which I stand is somebody's creativity. The screen behind me is someone's creativity. The microphone in my hand was once part of crude oil that came out of the earth as some, some black oil. And somebody extracted polymer out of it and made this microphone. Somebody looked beyond the crudeness and saw beauty. So why don't you have your signature on earth for us to enjoy? God made you to be. Thank you for watching Winning Ways with Pastors Matthew and Yemesia Shimaloo. We hope you've been blessed. This program has been made possible by the continued giving of our members, the KICC Air Force partners, and you our faithful viewers. For information on how you can become a member of the KICC Air Force, call the number you see on the screen or email airforce at kicc.org.uk. Next time you're in town, why don't you visit us? Experience the warmth, the welcome, the worship, and the word. For location directions or ministry information, visit kicc.org.uk. Until next time, remember, it's not over until you win.